Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon, bringing you guys Boruto episode 31. Uh, so, you guys might not bleh, might notice, or might not, it's very subtle, but I had made some adjustments to the webcam. Um, I spent forever trying to get this to look, because I realized that the preview looks way better than the actual output. So I did change some stuff, the colors don't blend as much, like when I have really bright screens up, Sometimes I can notice, like, it, it sounds kind of weird, it's hard for me to explain, but the colors on, like, my forehead would, like, blend together, and it would make, like, a big, like, white patch on my forehead that just, it just looked off. Um, and I did some testing, and with the new changes, that seems to be toned down a little bit. I did just do one more test recording, and it seems to be, like, still every now and then if the screen's super bright, it does it, but... I think I did manage to make it look a tad bit better, so there's that. Uh, eventually, I will get a new webcam that is, you know, really clear, like some of the ones I see out there. Some of the people I see have insanely clear webcams, which is awesome, but for now, this is what I'm working with. It's not absolutely terrible, but it's not ideal either, so yeah. But we are going to be getting into episode 31, which looks like we are going to get some more hype action because the fight is not over yet. Last episode, we had some really exciting stuff with, uh, uh, what did we have? We had Serata doing a lot of cool shit. That was a really fun fight. I really enjoyed that one. We had the badass moments with, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chojuro, the Mizukage. Uh, that was awesome as well. He, I, I just loved his lines. Like, even though there wasn't a ton of action, just when he almost slash the chick and she got like scared and he's like you're scared to get cut then you know your your uh your sword will never pierce bone or whatever he says something like that and it was it was awesome i love that so much and uh, i love badass characters like that that just like aren't afraid to take some damage to dish some out and they realize that sometimes that's what you got to do um so that was really cool we had a very fast beat down on the person that Iwabe went up against. He just completely stomped him, which was surprising to me. Uh, and then, like, I know he's strong, but still, I figured they'd put up a little more of a fight. Uh, and then that guy just, like, detonated himself, and I don't know if he died or if he's fine, but, you know, either way, he blew up right onto, over himself. But anyway, um, we have, uh, what's his name? Mitsuki coming with a scroll from uh, Suigetsu, I think his name was. I keep thinking that's wrong. Is that That's a name from something else, isn't it? Every time I hear Suigetsu, is that like the name of a weapon on something? I feel like that name is from something, and I just can't remember. Is it a bleach thing? Is that one of the swords? Suigetsu... I don't know. I feel like that name was from something else, and I keep, like, thinking of that whenever I say it. But anyway, regardless of any of that, um... So yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at. There, I'm curious to see what the scroll is, and, uh, I, I had a little hint from, from one of you guys in the comments saying that this episode is, uh, really nicely animated, so looking forward to that as well. So I don't really consider that a spoiler or anything, it's just, you know... I guess it's just not as much of a shock. Like, you won't see, like, a huge shock factor if, like, the animation is kicked up in this episode. Uh, which isn't a big deal. I'm, I'm gonna be excited either way, because when they go all out, all out with their animation, it is... Mwah, it's fantastic. But yeah, so, let's just get into the episode. Enough rambling. Oh, also, one more quick thing, sorry. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna be getting a haircut soon, so you'll probably see that change. Uh, every time I, like, bring out my recording, where I can... Because I, I can see myself over on my monitor over there... I realize how shit my hair looks. <laughs> I think of that every episode. So I need to shave it all off again. But yeah, so not that that has much to do with this. So yeah, uh, let's get into the episode, guys. All right, we are going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Ooh, I almost got that wrong. I didn't put the mouse where I was supposed to. All right. Yeah, we saw a little bit of this already. Uh, 
That sword is just ridiculous. Oh, that's got to be a fake. <laughs> Sorry I didn't react much to that. I just figured it was a fake. Do, do, do. <laughs> hmm. Shoot, I just realized I left my Netflix open. I usually try to close as many processes as possible. Well, not that this actually takes much resource, like... I think my CPU is running at, like, yeah, both my recording things for recording the video and me are both only taking, like, 2 and 5% CPU, so I think I'm probably fine. do 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 All right, so this had to have been a fake, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. So when did he make that clone? Are they going to show us, like, a... I don't know, they've been cutting between this fight so much that there's, like, no way for us to know that that was a clone. I guess maybe he just... Oh, what's he doing? It's like, how do you do that with your wrist? Uh-oh. Don't lose your footing, the Thorst! Oof. Damn. What are you gonna do, Boruto? Is this Boruto's episode to, like, finally take care of this? Is Mitsuki's scroll gonna come in and make the difference? I don't know. No, that's not why you're here. Come on. Dude. Yeah, man. He was having fun. What's wrong with him now? Sorry if I don't sound very sympathetic to Kagura. I just, I, I can't follow his process. I've never relied on one person in my life that much before. Ooh, his jacket. Oof. Bitch slapped him. You're just swinging at nothing, essentially, now. Punch him in the stomach. Give him a good punch in the gut. A good gut punch really gets the point across. Ooh. Nicked his shoulder a bit. No bueno.
Yep. He's gonna be yourself, man. Hmm. So he's finally making a little bit of a move. Oh, the scar again. Oh, this guy. I don't know about that. Maybe. It's possible. But... Yep, that definitely seems like what you want to do. You don't seem evil at all. Yep, here's Mitsuki. Nice. Oh, what is it? Hmm. Look like some military type people. Uh, so they were the ones backing them, I guess. Hmm, so he was the one doing the killing. I was totally wrong about the scroll. <laughs> it, was like, it was just a message. <laughs> I thought I was going to summon something badass. Does he have any gills on his chest too? I see those lines. Mm-hmm. No, he wasn't. Hmm. He's just a lunatic! Please, Kagura. <laughs> Please. Of course it was! Uh-oh. I thought he was gonna hurt him and then Boruto was gonna go berserk. Pretty much, that's pretty much what I figured. He just wants to kill people. Ugh. What? Big. Ugh. 
We never saw them do that with that with a sword before. The other dude that used it. That I never remember his name. Look at some wind scythe. Oof. Oh, nice. Go, go, go! Whip him back around. Kicked the blade, but still pushed him back that hard. A pretty good kick. Ooh, nice. Alright, Kagura. Get revenge. Unleash your bloodlust. This guy deserves it. I want to see it. Jeez. Hmm. Ooh. Sneaky arm movements. Oh no. Oh shit. The spiky porcupine sword. Uh oh. It's like sucking the blood out of his wound. I knew it like fed on chakra, but that was like. It was weird. Oh, is that the shocker leaking out? Not, like, the blood? Interesting. Oof. Shadow Clone Jutsu! Huh. Was that the actual Boruto that got hit? Because I thought they were, like, always one hits, but... The the clone didn't disappear if that was a clone that got hit. Oh, there they go. Oh, water clone. Damn, that was a that was a kill shot. Music he just did though. You see that he went to go slice like slit the throat. Oh damn, that looked pretty cool. Oh, sick. We get to see some good fighting from Mitsuki. This is one of the first time we've seen this. He's getting exhausted, though. Look at him. Uh-oh. Damn, his, like, animation looks different, too. Like, he looks a lot more, like, detailed, it seems like. Like, the way he's drawn. Yeah, so either Kagura is gonna have to beat this guy, or Boruto and Kagura, I think. I don't know if Boruto can do it alone. <laughs> Finally, Kagura, listen to his words! Let's go! <laughs> you got this, Boruto. Subvert my expectations. You can win. Or Kagura will go, I don't know, something. Win! <laughs> Boom. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh, Mitsuki. Nice. And a clone at that. Oh, Gale Palm. But he like boosts himself with the with the wind style. Oh, I can't do it again. Oh, this reminds me of the pain scene. Kinda, like a little bit. Oh, headbutt! Nope, never mind. Oh! Different art style for the finishing blow. Holy shit! That's gonna hurt. Oh, damn. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of Naruto coming up with a move like that on the spot. Well, at least I think, you know, I think it might have been on the spot. Uh-oh, he's still moving. Oof. Uh oh. Yeah, Kagura. Looks like there's like a ribbon in the sword, almost. Because you can, Kagura. You can do it. That damn sword. Uh-oh. It's starting to feed on him. Uh-oh. Is it just going to devour him completely? Oh god, that face. He's dead! Death! Oh, is Chojo going to save him? Oh... Yeah, it's transforming him into the shark, kind of like we saw Alyssa's face do, except I don't think he's really in control. Oh god, it just like merged with him. Interesting. Oh, if we release that sword. I do rem I thought I remembered there being more to that sword. Like, it, like, splits in half or something. That's why there's two blades or something. But I thought I do remember there being more to it than just what it is. Kagura wants to do it. All right. Oh. Filling it with chakra. Oh, luring him there, too. Oh, damn. I would have, like, cut him in half if he wasn't, like, a fish man. Oh, shit. And I thought the fight was over! Yeah. Can Boruto, like, share his chakra? Or is Boruto just gonna help out? Oh, his eye! His eye did a flicker. Oh, yep. Uh, that's what I thought it did. Something like that. Boruto just casually wielding one of those swords. Oof. Oh. They split them apart. Nice. Is that the end? <laughs> just burps.
Ja. <laughs> the wimpy guy gets to carry Serata and he's all excited. He's blushing. Oh, there he was. <laughs> that was silly. Oh, nice. He still has the deck they gave him. And it's over, right? I think. Yep. Yeah. Do 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 do. That was a good episode. I liked it. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> Do 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 <laughs> There's so many members of his class that we know nothing about yet. I feel like it's almost too late to make them more of a big deal, but maybe that we'll find a way. All right, that's preview. So that is going to be the end of episode 31, guys. So yeah, it was a good episode. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I a lot of things I liked about the episode, and I kind of I didn't expect them to do as much talking. I think. Um, I still don't get me wrong. I like the episode, and I know they can't do like constant full episodes of animation i understand that they like i believe they make these like week by week and uh so you know that that obviously makes sense to me um but yeah like from a just without thinking of like the technical background of it like the uh just like all the all the talking between uh I believe his name is like Shimura or something like that. Uh, I, I haven't remembered his name this entire show. I think I kind of remember now. It might have been Shimura. But he he just, you know, the whole Shimura Kagura thing just kind of felt like it dragged on to me. Which is why it wasn't as like powerful and why I was kind of just like, you know, jumping down Kagura's throat a little bit throughout these episodes. Um... It's just because, you know, Kagura looks like he's struggling, and then Shimura says something, and Kagura goes back to being, like, you know, a devout follower, and then Boruto says something, and Shimura wavers again, and, you know, over and over for the past, like, three, four episodes, maybe even more than that. But, luckily, we finally saw Shimura's true colors. I'm sorry if that's not his name, that's what I'm calling him, because it was something like that. Um, and... But yeah, finally we see his true colors, and Kagura kind of changed his little bit from, like, wanting to follow him to wanting to save him a bit, and then realize that, you know, this guy just has no hope, decided to, uh, well, in a way he still saved him in the end, because he separated him from the sword, uh, and, you know, I don't think he died in the process of that, so, um... In a way, he still helped him, but he definitely didn't... He wasn't able to talk him down, this thing. Dude is too crazy for that. He just wanted blood, which... 
I pretty much expected, like, obviously, he had, like, the typical bad guy behavior. He spouted, you know, the nonsense about wanting to fix, uh, wanting to, like, fix the, the hid mist. But just the fact that he wanted to bring it back to the blood mist, like, there's a big difference between going back to the blood mist and him trying to make it a better place, you know, where, like, none of the bad shit happens. And you wouldn't really want it to be the blood mist, right? So he kind of contradicted himself. Because that was his argument, right? Chojuro did all kinds of shit stuff behind the scenes, assassinating or whatever. That's what he claimed. And he claimed that, you know, Chojuro purposely kept people off, like, the honorable... Where they, like, mention people who died honorably. They purposely kept people off that to, like, do cover-up stories and stuff like that. And he wanted to, like, fix all that and make it a better place, which sounds great. Except for the fact that you want to go back to the Blood Mist Village where to graduate your damn exam for the kids is you have to kill someone. I believe that was the case. So, like, one of your classmates, I think it was even. And, you know, he wanted to go back to all, all that crap. So he just, like, contradicted himself from the beginning, which is why I was, you know, they made it blatantly obvious that he was... More than just wanting to fix the village, like he said, he just wanted war and he just wanted to kill people because it's fun. You know, he's just a psychopath, essentially. Uh, but aside from all of that stuff, the action scenes were fun. Uh, we had a lot of use of Borjo Shadow Clone, and then he pulled out like a. It reminded me of, like I said in the episode. Sorry, uh, kind of. Got a scratch on my ankle. Or an itch. An itch I had to scratch. Yeah, that's the way you say it. Uh, but it reminded me of the pain scene where pain kept pushing Bor uh, not Boruto, uh, pain kept pushing Naruto away. And Naruto kind of like made a bunch of clones of himself lined up and like pushed himself forward. That kind of thing. And, uh, and sometimes Naruto would throw himself too. And that, that, like, gale burst or whatever he did really reminded me of that. Uh, but that's really cool that Boruto is able to utilize his wind in that way. He boosted his clones forward and then boosted two of them. And then boosted himself again, which, that was another thing, right? Didn't Boruto, I mean, didn't Naruto do some stuff like that? I can't remember the exact scenes, but... It definitely gave me reminiscent of Naruto, and also the fact that I think he came up with that on the spot. It's kind of hard to tell. He It seems like he gave it a name. Although, wasn't his other ability where he just ran really fast called Boruto Stream, or was that something else? So that's a little confusing. Does he have two moves that just do somewhat similar stuff? I don't know. But, uh... I mean, I guess they're both wind style, but... In a sense. But yeah, he... He threw himself forward, boosted himself, and got, like, a big hit. Got past his defenses because he moved so quickly and all that. And, uh... And that was really awesome. Honestly, I really like that part. But I think, uh... Mitsuki really shined in this episode, in my opinion, anyway. I know... I know he didn't do anything insanely badass. He did a lot of the stuff we've seen already. He did some cool wind moves, which I don't know if we've seen those exact moves, but he was like, you know, blowing the wind out. He was trying to lower his defense, I believe, and he got around to it one time and he took the kill shot. And like, I know it doesn't make for exciting fights in animes where if these people just took kill shots right away, it wouldn't be that dramatic. And that's, I believe that's why they do more you know, Jono fights, plus they don't, like, you know, this is still somewhat a kid's show, so I don't think they just want to straight up slit someone's throat on camera, uh, you know, or, you know, draw that, whatever, um, however they do animation, <laughs> that was just a turn of phrase, but, uh, anyway, the, but that was so badass, what, what he did, getting up behind him, and then he instantly, no hesitation, went for that kill shot, if that was, like, a main character sort of thing doing that, he would have, like, hesitated enough time for the bad guy to, like, say something and get out of it. 
you know, uh, just had like a moment of hesitation, and that happens a lot in shows. But nope, Mitsuki just slit his throat. But it happened to be a water clone, so it was, it was a little bit of a waste. But that was still really cool. I loved it, and they they definitely drew Mitsuki a bit different in this one. Usually, he's more of like, you know, I guess. I guess you could consider it like side character animation where they, they follow him around. They're not super highly detailed and everything, but he had like some good, like the lighting seemed really good. That's what seemed like really nice about it. Like, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it without maybe like bringing the image back up and talking about it. But, um, but I don't know. It just, it, he definitely looked a lot better in this episode and the, uh, you know, the, the uses of his abilities seem pretty cool, even though a lot of those abilities we have seen before. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun episode. That fight was that fight was pretty good. And also, um, that, I, I will admit, the arc hasn't been my favorite. There have been some moments that were touch and go. I, I definitely liked, you know, the previous arc better with Serata and Sasuke and... Uh, what was his name? Shin Uchiha? I believe it was. Um, I liked that whole bit. I mean, obviously, because we got to see, you know, our Team 7 from Naruto fighting. And that might have been, like, a huge part of it. But even the scenes that, like, Boruto and Sarada got, I really, I really liked. So, uh, but I know this was supposed to be, like, a... It's, like, sort of filler, but not really. Like, I wouldn't consider this a filler arc, I don't think. I don't know how much it correlates to the story later on, but I feel like Kagura will definitely be a character to come back, which is why I don't consider it a filler arc. Because if you don't watch this and Kagura comes back, you're gonna be like, who's this guy, you know? You're not gonna get everything, so... But it definitely didn't have the level of like, the level of awesome writing, I'd say, that some of these other arcs have had. But, that being said, I still enjoyed most of it. The I, I wasn't, like, miserable or, you know, like, some shows I've watched where I'm like, oh, can this episode be over yet? And you might say, then why do you watch shows like that? But I have this weird fixation with the uh, finishing shows that I start. So even if I don't like a show, I'll still finish it just because I cannot stand stopping halfway through a show. Uh, there, there have been some that I have done. So I've made the mistake of starting some really, really bad anime. And I'm just, I'm just like, I can't do this. Like, I think, uh, I don't know. I can't think of any examples. My memory is too bad, but they... There were some bad ones. <laughs> and and so I stopped some of those. But there have also been some bad ones that I toughed out. It really depends on the level of bad. If it has like some of the... I can't remember the term. Like the Japanese term. But some of the, like the homosexual stuff. It's not that I'm like against homosexual stuff. It's just, you know, I don't enjoy seeing that. You know, I don't like seeing you know, guys kissing other guys, that kind of stuff, like, just doesn't do it for me, um, but, but yeah, the, uh, basically what I'm trying to say is I didn't absolutely hate this, like, I didn't hate watching it, I enjoyed a lot of it, I had some complaints here and there throughout the stuff, but the cool thing is, is the other reason why I brought this whole topic up is because it seems like next episode might be an aftermath, and then after that, we might be moving on to some new stuff. Either we might get some actual filler episodes before the next arc, or we might jump right into the next arc within, like, the next few episodes, I'd say. Because with everything, like, with all the bad guys beaten now, and we saw them, we saw a glimpse of them taking care of the Rebellion, that's what the note was about. I guess I didn't talk about that. I was completely wrong about the, the, uh, the scroll. I thought it was going to be some badass weapon that Boruto could fight with or something to help Boruto. But instead, it was just a memo, I guess, saying that... I have no idea what it said, but 
briefly what uh, Mitsuki was saying was that uh, the people that were supporting the Blood Mist Village coming back and supporting Shimura have been outed and they surrendered and confessed everything and said that Shimura was actually killing people behind the scenes that didn't support him without being caught, that kind of thing. And so he... Uh, and that's what converted Kagura, which allowed them to work together to take him down. So, essentially, it did help Boruto, but it wasn't in the way I thought it was. So, that prediction was wrong. Uh, I still wish they brought out a bunch of reanimations and was just like, here's your army! <laughs> Outnumber them! But no, uh, I, I was 100% I was sure that wasn't going to happen. I was 99% sure, actually. There was a 1% chance. A 1%. One percent, uh, but no, yeah, the uh, but that was good. So yeah, so now that all that's beaten and they concluded pretty much every bit of storyline, they're going to meet roll call. Is the roll call for the end of the trip? That's what I'm wondering. Is roll call just for their bedtime? Are they supposed to do that every single night that they're there, or is that like making sure everyone's together so they can like? Well, no, because it's nighttime, right? They wouldn't leave at night. They're probably going to take the boat the next morning. So I'm guessing that's just a roll call they do every night. And uh, and they're making it back for that. And I'm guessing next episode's probably going to start in the, uh, in the morning. And we're going to see them saying bye to everyone and all that. I'd assume maybe some, like, cleanup stuff we'll see. And then they might head back to the leaf and... Maybe we'll get some Naruto scenes with Boruto asking him how it went. We get to see Boruto's cheeky, like, like a cheeky smile with him saying, like, oh, it went great. <laughs> you know, nothing bad happened. Uh, something like that. But that's what I'm assuming next episode will be like. We won't know until we watch it next week. But uh, I also, I know I haven't done double drop episodes for a while. Uh, I'm thinking... I think I have a few weeks left on this class, and then I have some some time off, and I might kick off with a few double drop weeks if I end up having some extra time like that. So we'll see. Um, we'll see how you know my scheduling goes and all that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna gonna take off here and uh and go and edit this video so i can go get food because i am hungry <laughs> uh but yeah once again thanks for watching hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying my videos you'll see all my new content which actually uh i guess as the time you're watching this it'll be tomorrow you'll see the uh, first episode of reincarnated as a slime which is a new show coming to my channel um it is a it's also a newer anime that got released i think last anime season or the season before that possibly but it came out somewhat recently and uh i've i i don't know anything about it but i have just seen a lot of people reacting to it so i assume it's decent i don't know but but yeah so i guess we'll see what's up with that when I, I guess I'll be recording it tomorrow and you guys will be seeing it tomorrow, technically. But for me, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you like my content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.